This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Here it is, it's uh, almost Erev Rosh Hashanah, but let's speak about Hanukkah for a moment. We know Hanukkah is on the 25th day of Kislev. Rather odd that a Yom Tov should begin on the 25th of the month. All the Yom Tov are either in the beginning of the month or Tesvav Tesvav, Pesach and Sukkot in the middle of the month. Why Hanukkah the 25th? So the Shlach HaKadosh tells us that there's a connection between Hanukkah and really the beginning of the year and Rosh Hashanah. And that is because Hanukkah is the inauguration of the Chinuch of the world, so to speak, with, which takes place three months exactly after Hashem said, Vayomer lekim yihi ar. God said, let there be light on the 25th day of Elul. And of course that light was not able to function man until man was created on Rosh Hashanah, and then it was inaugurated on Hanukkah. So this establishes a connection between the beginning of the year and the Yom Tif of Hanukkah. In fact, the Sefer Karen Yehoshua of Rabbi Yeshua Shapiro, the son of the Bnei Yisachar, he goes as far as to say that the Maimar of Ayihi Ar took place on Rosh Hashanah. Well, we know that that's not the case. We know the Maimar of Ayihi Ar took place uh, five days earlier, and in fact, on the Ha'aras, on the Sefer Karen Yeshua, he asks, what does that mean, the Maimer of Yehi'ar? I assume what that means is, the objective of Yehi'ar was not fulfilled until Hayoim Haras Oilam. And according to the Shla, that Hanukkah is a remez to the Chinuch Ha'olam, that transpired exactly three months after uh, the beginning of the year, and therefore the Karen Yeshua says that the idea that the Zman Shuva extends until Hanukkah is based on this concept, that the Or was created in the beginning of the year, but its Chinuch was not uh, begun until Hanukkah, exactly three months later, extending the Zman Shuva past just the beginning of the year. Now this is all just uh, by way of introduction, that Be'ezus Hashem we hope to come out for this Hanukkah with a new Sefer, um, in English, on Hanukkah, and actually, and Tu B'Shvat as well. The Sefer is complete. It's already been given in for publication. And this is really last call if anybody would like to participate, especially before the Yom Adin, especially before the Zman of Rosh Hashanah. And perhaps by participating in the Sefer for Hanukkah, it will allow us to extend the Zman for as long as possible. So I thank all those who have participated until now. And this is a new project. Um, in all likelihood, the name of the Sefer will be The Light and the Splendor on Hanukkah and Tu B'Shvat. We actually have a number of other projects that have already begun, and those will be announced uh, very soon, but we're just trying to cover uh, this particular Sefer, and we hope during Aser Simei Tshuva to, so to speak, uh, unveil the upcoming projects, both in Lashon HaKodesh and in English. The main thing is Yuvon Shem should give all of us siyata deshmaya, to lezakos, uh, asatzmenu, to amass merit for ourselves, our families, and for all of Klal Yisrael, aksiva chsima taiva. You've just experienced another Torah class, brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.